Hey everyone, thanks for joining us on the channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, then welcome back. Today I want to go over a new tool for the Fly-By-Wire A320. All coming up next on today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. It's a V-Speed and Flex Temp Calculator. So the tool I want to talk to everyone today is the new SimSmart performance calculator for the A320. So this is going to calculate accurate flex temp, accurate V speeds. It'll give us METAR data as well as a worldwide database. And if you're in Europe, it will even give engine out procedures. So to purchase this, I will post a link down below in the description. So be sure to go down there and pick this up. Oh, and by the way, while you're down there, make sure to hit that subscribe button, take that little bell, and smash on that thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. So when you click on the link below, it's going to bring you up on the main website page. To purchase this, head right over to the Buy SimSmart page. Now I know a lot of people when you say purchase, they go, oh my gosh, it's a lot of money. But if we scroll down here, we can see that it is just a measly 475 euros. Keep in mind, everyone, that this is a lifetime purchase. So you are gonna get all the updates as they come in the future. So all you need to do is click to add to your cart, purchase it, and it is a very easy download and install. It's actually probably one of the easiest installs. So after you install it, it's going to put an icon right on your desktop and anytime you want to open it, all you have to do is now double click on that icon. After it opens, this is the page that you're going to be left with. So at the very top, we're just going to go up here and enter the airport code and then hit OK. Now this may take a minute or two for it to download the information for the airport, but just let it do its thing and then we can move on. Next, we're going to just go down here and select the runway in which we're going to take off from. So let's just choose 10 for today. When you select that, you're going to see over here on the right that we automatically get a runway length as well as the slope for the runway and the direction of the slope. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Underneath of the runway, we can hit Get Medar and it's going to pull the live Medar data from the airport. So you're really only going to be using this portion if you're using live weather in the sim. Now notice it has already picked the runway condition. And if the runway conditions are different at the airport when you spawn in, just pick the one that corresponds. Below that we have the anti-ice option and we can either pick to have anti-ice off, engines only, or engines and wing. And below that is where we're going to enter our takeoff weight. So you should be able to find your takeoff weight in your SimBrief flight plan when you had planned your flight. So we're just gonna enter an arbitrary number here at 65 tons. So just keep in mind that uh, you only have to enter two digits because whatever you enter here is gonna be in tons. The next thing underneath of that is the takeoff center of gravity. The center of gravity can either be selected two different ways. We can either have a forward center of gravity or a standard center of gravity. So you're just going to pick the one that is best suited for your conditions. And then we can move down to the takeoff thrust. Now here's where we're going to select whether we want to use our flex takeoff or our toga takeoff. Well, now that we can use flex, let's go ahead and select that. Below that we have a configure and I believe this is going to be for flaps. One thing I would like to see there is if they would actually put flaps or something there so we know uh, what this is for. But uh, again, I assume this is for flaps, so we're just going to select the number one position. Underneath of that is where we can select either the air con on or off, so we're just going to select on, and at this point, we can just hit the calculate button. Uh, over here on the right, it's going to give us all the information that we are going to need to enter in the McDo for the A320. We're not going to get into entering any of this information. That'll come in a future episode. So at the top here, we have our thrust for our flex temp is going to be 65 degrees. Then we have our V1 and our V rotate. Underneath of that, we have limitation and it says TOW. I can only assume that the limitation would be the takeoff weight. We also have the thrust reduction and the engine out 
configures underneath of that as well. This is where we are going to get any of our engine out procedures for anywhere in Europe, I believe. Now below that is our maximum takeoff weight for performance. So I believe that the maximum takeoff performance weight here doesn't have to do with the maximum takeoff weight of the aircraft. In any case, this is how it really operates in real life. So for those of you who want that real sim experience, well, you got it with this one. So overall, I think this is a pretty nice application, especially for those who really love flying in the A32 and want to get the full functionality of the McDo. And I think with the constant updates that this software is getting, as well as the ease of installation, just makes it for a fantastic add-on to anybody's sim. If anybody has any questions, please post those down below in the comments section, and I will get right back to you. If you haven't done so already, make sure to hit that subscribe, tick the little bell, and smash on that thumbs up button. To all my flight simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up. We'll see everybody on the next one. Thanks for watching.